Hi, I just played a game of this neat little card game called Peninsula. The North Korean Crisis. And the main name is just Peninsula. It's by Tom Harvey and I got it on a card game vault as a print and play. So it's, um, I think there's 47 cards and uh, I just printed them out on um, paper and uh, sleeved them backed by some other games cards here. And uh, you have um, a United States Resolve Track, you have a North Korea Resolve Track, and you have Tension, which um, is equal for both um, sides. So it's you have the United States against North Korea. The aim is um, to bring your opponent to zero resolve um, before you do, and also you don't want to get to the bottom of your progress deck um, because potentially you can both lose by not launching nukes or invading each other or um, attacking each other. I don't know if uh, North Korea would actually invade the United States, but there's a card which says they can attack it. So, um, and so these are the rules. That's it. So it's very, very simple. Essentially what, what the game is, is this. You have... Um, a hand of diplomacy cards, so I'm playing at Solitaire, so these are both, these are in each player's hand. Um, on each card there's uh, some uh, text determining um, the uh, motivation behind this particular integration into the game. There's that integration into the game, the mechanic, and I think that's it. And essentially, um, each card will either increase tension or, um, like each hand has one card that increases tension by one. So the intention is increased um, by one. Or you have, uh, you each have a hand which lets the other player choose to reduce the tension if they want. You each have two cards that will increase tension by one and will um, decrease your opponent's resolve by one. So if uh, North Korea plays it, the American resolve is reduced, or vice versa. And then you also have three cards each, which will reduce both of your resolves by one. So obviously, um, you know, if you're in a, a winning position as North Korea like that, you could do play those three cards and eke America perhaps down to a loss. So that's what you each have in your hand. Then you also have what's called a progress deck. So they're from, numbered from 1 to 10, and there's in fact two 10 cards. But essentially you can think of it as a countdown from 1 to 10. So for example, the first card on the North Korea says, North Korea warns China that its nuclear program is more important than their alliance. And the tension goes up two points. I'll tell you in a minute why, Mark, why you might want to play that. Um, the, the American... Uh, so... While that, the, the, the diplomacy, these are called diplomacy cards, while these hands are equal, the progress decks are different for each side. Um, so the American uh, number one progress card is the United States calls for economic sanctions against North Korea. The tension increases by two, but North Korean resolve decreases by two. So that's good for America rather than the same for both. Now, these come into play via the tension track, you will see that there's grey areas. There are 10 of these. And so at each of these points, when the tension reaches there, immediately both players will get the corresponding, so number one progress there. All count down. Number two count down here, three, four, five, all the way up to tension of 55, where you will both get the end cards. And uh, as I said, they are quite drastic and Neither side really wants to get to tension and because, well, maybe I will, I'll show that later or maybe it will come up in the game because um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play out a game just to show you how it plays just for the fun of it. So um, that's, that's um, the basics. You have your, your countdown, your progression, and your diplomacy cards. Then after each turn, so say North Korea always starts. So essentially what will happen is they don't have this available. Um, tension's at zero. So North Korea will choose one of these. Now, um, 
they might just increase tension and then we will both get a progress card. They might prefer to play one of these two cards which um, seems like a good start. So it increases tension by one, so immediately we both get this available. Uh, but it reduces the US resolve by one, two. So that seems like a good ploy. Um, then you immediately will play what's called an ally card. These have the United Nations um, symbol on them. So they relate to an ally of either of these sides. And um, they will generally increase tension and also reduce someone or both players' resolve. Now, I, I checked through this these decks. I haven't actually checked through these, but in this, there's once this deck is played out, there's minus 7, minus 8 to the North Korea resolve, and minus 7 to the United States resolve, and I'm not, how much, I'm not sure how much the total tension. So this deck's slightly better overall for the United States. Um, but anyway, after you've played a card... Um, you will play an ally card. Now, before I should go on, I should say there's actually three things you can do in your turn. You can either play a card and from your hand, so that's the diplomacy card and now a progress card, or um, you can um, discard a diplomacy card. So you've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those, so you can only do that maximum seven times. That will reduce the tension by three. So you can see if you we're hovering up to here and you don't want to bring um, us to the brink of nuclear war or, or, or attack then um, you could be reduced in tension or if you don't want to you always see the next um, progress card so if you don't want the opposite player to pick theirs you might discard diplomacy reduce the global tension or you can reduce your resolve but you increase the tension by the same amount so um, let's just continue with the turn. So the North Koreans played that. They now have to play an ally card. Russia says pressure. Russia says using pressure to halt the North Korean nuclear program is futile. That increases the global tension. I mean global in the sense of both players by three. So we immediately both get our number two pr progress card. United States resolve is reduced by two because of what Russia said and North Korea resolve is used, reduced by one. So you can see what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the other side to bring their resolve to zero so they both basically back out. So you, it's that game of brinkmanship. You're trying to push. Um, you, you, you're making a play and hoping the other player's gonna, it's going to cause the other player um to back out of the field and forfeit the game but at the same time each time you play the tension mounts and um, your resolve is often decreasing too so um, it's probably always going to be a near run thing okay so that's the end of a, a turn so um, now we go to the American turn so um, they have now, one thing I didn't know is that North Korea starts with 30 resolve, America with 35. So you can see North Korea is determined to have less resolution than America. It's um, a shame that these aren't sort of similarly tracked so that we can see that we're equal. But America's at resolve of 32, North Korea at 29 at the moment. So America's still above North Korea. So it doesn't feel a necessity to increase tension to reduce its resolve. It's going to have a look at these cards. Now, the progress cards have to be played in order. Um, unless a, another card tells you, and I think that's only the two ten cards you can play it in whichever order you like. Um, or, and, and, and one of them you can play a progress card in response to. Um, so both of these, the Americans, ha they increase tension by two, but North Korea resolve by two. That is going to bring out the third card, which is better for North Korea, in fact. Um, so as America, we don't want that tension to increase up. So we don't actually want to play one of those. Um, we won't play tension plus one. We're going to... Inf we're going to discard... A diplomacy card to reduce our tension by three. 
So then we have to play an ally card. Australia says it will provide military support to the United States if it is attacked. That statement is deemed to reduce, to increase tension by one. Okay, so that's sort of, uh, both players have played a turn. So then we come back to North Korea. I'm just going to take a quick pause. Okay, so North Korea has um, less resolve than America by a fair margin. They're quite happy to go up to tension six, which will bring out the third progress card, because theirs is better than the American one. They could increase tension by one with a diplomacy card, but then they would have less with which to reduce tension. So they're actually going to use their number one progress card. North Korea warns China that its nuclear program is more important than their alliance. Tension increases by two. So we both bring out our, our next progress card. I wish that that was called countdown because it, it, to me it's a countdown to disaster. So I think that would be more exciting. So um, that was North Korea's play, so we have an ally makes a play. South Korea says it needs a complete defence reform. Tension increases, and United States resolve goes down by one because of that. So the United States says, how am I going to respond? They could increase tension by two, and North Korea resolve by two. That would bring out these two cards, which is excellent for me, so I think I'm very happy to do that. Tension increases by two. These cards come out. North Korean resolve goes down by two. The United States calls for economic sanctions against North Korea. An ally responds to that by saying, well, the UN imposes economic sanctions against North Korea too. Now, this deck's randomised, so you don't know how it's going to come out. That wasn't great for North Korea. But, of course, North Korea can always make that diplomatic play to reduce their tension and they're going to play do that the united states may choose to reduce tension by one they're not going to bother offering that so on the new york channel um they are discarding that to reduce their tension by three an ally makes a play germany says the crisis should be resolved through the un which just increases the overall tension <laughs> um, so the US, uh, I'm tempted to play an increased tension, reduce North Korean resolve card. Um, but tension's climbing quite high. There's, in fact, oh, I made a mistake, didn't I? Um, I have to backtrack a bit because I. I discard a diplomacy card as the North Koreans to reduce North Korean resolve. That doesn't happen. It reduces tension. So I should have increased tension. Reduced resolve by increasing tension. So I, I'll say I reduced my resolve by three. Increased tension by three, which has brought out these two. Okay, so um, I think that's clear how I rectified that. So um, America's just going to go straight for the next step. So they're increasing tension, which is racking up. You can see now why it might be good to discard it overall. Reducing North Korean resolve. An ally responds to that with China enacts economic sanctions against North Korea. Tension plus two, North Korean resolve minus two. So I didn't read the text for the American card. It was reported that United States naval forces have been deployed to the peninsula. So that reduced the North Korean resolve, that kind of br brusque threat, but it also increased the tension. Um, so we're back to North Korea. Um, somebody's going to have to take the responsibility to reduce the tension at some point. North Korea doesn't want to do that because it's um, resolve, it feels that America should, because it, its resolve is reducing a lot. It needs it feels it needs to get one over on America. So it's interesting, it's either kind of like 
Oh, to hell with it. I'll make it so that we both lose. Um, or force America to take a turn to reduce the global tension. Um, yeah, so they're just going to carry on. They're going to eke out. North Korea conducts an ICBM test, which increases the tension by one, reduces the US resolve by two. An ally says to that, Japan deploys the Pac-3 missile defence system as though they were threatened. Tension increases by two. The six cards come out. And North Korean resolve is reduced by one. So America says, yeah, this is getting a bit crazy, guys. They're going to take that responsibility. They discard a card to reduce tension. They're going to discard this one. Condemn the actions of North Korea. Tension is reduced. North Korea... Uh, no, they're going, no, they're not going to play that. They're going to discard it, so just to reduce it. Instead of condemning the actions of North Korea, they keep shut. And overall tension is reduced. Um, an ally says to that, well, Japan's condemns... I'm going to condemn it. Japan condemns the actions of North Korea. Protection tension goes up by two. North Korea resolve down by one. So we know that the Allies are always going to re reduce resolve. I think that is the case. There may be one card with just tension racks up. So the ar Allies, <laughs> they're interfering. It helps one side or the other, but it, it generally always increases the overall tension. But that, that's the same for all the cards. So um, Japan's going to then... Um, they're going to keep on with the game. North Korea conducts a second ICBM test. Tension goes up by two. American resolve down by two. So American standing at 30 to North Korean 23. It might be in North Korea's um, interest to rack up um, the tension so that they can get to a point where they can threaten America with a lose-lose situation if they think they're not going to win on the resolve. And then that will be force America to spend cards to reduce the tension. So I think that might be the North Korean tactic at the moment. Ukraine is reported to have supplied rocket engines to North Korea. Wow, tension goes up by a whopping three points. Both sides lose a bit of resolve on that news. America responds by, again... They're going to reduce tension. Yeah, they're going to discard the diplomacy card, reduce tension by three points. Um, an ally responds with, China says that in the event of a conflict, it will support North Korea. Sounds like conflict is imminent. Tension goes up by two. The United States says, whoops, we didn't want China involved. And their resolve goes down by three. So now we're standing at 26-22. One more ally who has something to say before it's just between the two powers. This one's a great one for North Korea. Tension only goes up by one. North Korea says it is ready to declare war on the United States if attacked. United States resolve goes down by two. At last, Ally speaks. The United States and North Korea are reported to be using a print and play card game in their decision making progress. The whole world <laughs> holds its breath, <laughs> realising the leaders haven't got a clue what's going on. Tension increases by two, and we get our seven cards. So there's no more allies to speak. The American turn. 
this isn't this only reduces resolve by one for increased attention by two but then the next card increases attention by two for resolve by three reduction which looks better america's going to sort of show some brinksmanship the united states says it is prepared to go to war with north korea tension increases by two north korean resolve goes down by one North Korea says, yes, we know that. The North Korea is believed to be in possession of nuclear warheads capable of reaching the United States mainland, the newspapers report. One, two, to tension. The United States resolve, owing to internal pressure, rip goes down by three. So we're now standing at 21 and 21. There is parity on the resolve. So North Korea has managed to get some over on America because of America's fear of um, bringing the tension up to attack or nuclear war. They want to win it. North Korea was at the point where they thought, well, we're losing it, so we, we'd like both of us to lose it. Now it's parity. So North Korea will be thinking of different tactics. The United States... Plus two tension, minus three, minus one, minus one resolve, one and one tension and resolve. So this is overall better. Let's, I think, the United States deploys THAAD, T-H-A-A-D, in South Korea. Tension goes up by two, North Korean resolve down by three. So, of course, North Korea could play that, but then we come up to eight tension. The United States resolve will go down by four. still playing that risky game so ten North Korea threatens Guam tension goes up by two and we come on to the eighth progress card the United States resolve drops by four points one two three four so they're at 17 North Korea at 18 so the United States might have to decrease tension They don't want the 10 cards out. I don't know why. I don't know. This is my second game. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm just feeling that that's kind of, kind of like role-playing one side against the other. That's maybe the US is less likely to go to nuclear war than North Korea. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just using that as a sort of tactic. Um, well... America's on less resolve at the moment. They're actually going to increase tension by one to reduce their resolve by one. So now they're on equal resolve. North Korea replies. With tension plus three. An American resolve down to North Korea launches a missile which flies over Japan. America thinks, hmm, they're really going for it, but if I keep not using cards, then North Korea is going to run out of cards. Then the only thing they will be able to do is reduce their resolve by increasing tension. But then, I, on the other hand, I need to get I need to get move through my progress. I need to ramp up the threat to try and bring down North Korean resolve. Card number five. The United States says that all options are on the table regarding North Korea. That's a rather gentle one. Tension only mounts by one. North Korean resolve down by one. North Korea can play this. Tension plus four. United States resolve minus four. That will bring out the number nine card. So we're right 
on the edge of the war. If we do that, well, they always have this option: reduce reduce both players' resolve by one. Now, let me just see what they've got. Three of those, so that's th minus three. There's a s minus six and a minus four there, so that'd be minus thirteen resolve, which would bring America down to three, and then they would need to, they got minus one resolve there. They've got no other way of reducing American resolve except for you see this one. The, these war cards, the United States, you either have North Korea launches a nuclear attack on the United States, the United States loses. The United States launches an attack, a nuclear attack on North Korea, North Korea loses. But if t for the American, if they play that, if tension is greater than or equal to 55, the United States also loses. I think both lose. I don't think one is superseded by the other. For, if the North Korea launched a nuclear attack, the United States may play one card in response. So they might get a chance to bring the U North Korean resolve down to zero, in which case, again, I think both sides lose. I, America loses because they, they're hit by a nuclear strike. North Korea loses because they back out of the whole reason for going to war. Um, or the other number 10 cards are North Korea launches, attacks the United States. United States resolved by minus 8 and it's the same vice versa here. And again this one, each side, the opposite side may play a card in response. So you, both of them have that minus 8 resolve. So if, if we both bring that out at this point, they're both on North Korea's one ahead. We have to play card eight before we can play nine, before we can play ten. So nine and eight for North Korea would equal minus ten American resolve, which brings us down to six. So then if they attack the United States, the United States would automatically lose unless America can play. And then if America can play this card, they might get drawn with North Korea. So I think North Korea's going to bring on the brinksmanship. North Korea conducts a hydrogen bomb test. I've lost track of which, but I think I was about to play North Korea. I don't, don't worry, you know, the, the game's non void, but it shows you how it plays. Um, North Korea conducts a hydrogen bomb test. Tension plus four, one, two, three, four. So that brings out the nine cards on both sides, which is the next one North Korea can play. America's not there yet. Um, and it unveils the ten cards. United States Resolve is brought down by one, two, three, four from that hydrogen bomb test. So America, as far as I can tell, is in trouble. What they might, if they bring one, two, three, six and eight is 14. Yeah, that will bring them just above a loss. So they're going to do that. They're going to. They're going to discard one of these and reduce their tension by three. North Korea launches a missile towards Guam. Guam, is it pronounced Guam? I'm not sure if this is the best play, but I'm just seeing how it pans out. So tension goes up by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The United States resolved down by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. America's not there yet. So America is on nine resolve. Um, North, if we get to there, both get the ten cards. Ah, that's how it plays. So America hasn't been playing these. 
So North Korea will get a chance to launch a nuclear attack or attack the United States. Or America, and America can only respond with a little bit. So I think North Korea has won this. Let's just check. So that was a North Korean play. American play. Maybe I missed an American card. Um, even so, I don't think they... Americans, let's say, go... Okay, plus... No, they don't want these to come out. And they can stop that by not letting tension get there. In fact, um, that's what I should have happened with that discard of that card, wasn't it? It was reduced tension instead of American Resolve. So American Resolve is actually at 6, North Korean at 17. But America has been bringing the tension down, which means North Korea is not going to get to being able to launch a nuclear strike or an attack. Um, so North Korea has only got these to kind of eke. Down. One, two, three, four. It can eat down American Resolve by four, which is not enough. So it needs that card. It needs the tension here. Was it? Is it an American play again? Yeah, I think it's American play. So, okay, America reduced tension. So I think this is the right thing to do. They add two to tension. The United States warns that North Korean threats will be met with fire and fury. North Korea's resolve goes down by two. North Korea says, well, okay. I'm going to increase tension by one. Calls for talks. America says, Discards this, tension goes down by three. So instead of going for diplomacy, one, two, three, they just they don't they say reduce the tension. North Korea says tension plus one. Condemns the actions of the United States. Come to the peace talks. United States resolve goes down by one. The United States says, you know what? I think you're going to run out of cards or something. <laughs> and they, the US conducts bombing drills in the peninsula. Tension goes up by two. North Korea and resolve down by three. North Korea says, I don't care. I'm, I'm miles off. Losing my ten, my resolve. They're going to bring down both our resolves by one. So-called diplomacy. Well, no, that's right, wouldn't it be? The resolve is reduced. The resolve to by is reduced. Okay. America says. I'm going to. Discard to reduce tension. And Korea says, ah, you're wise to do that. I should have done this before. And they reduce their resolve. No card play, but they reduce their resolve. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're at four. And America's at four. No, that would bring out these cards. That they, they don't want that. They say, ah, I should have done it the turn before. Um, they reduce their resolve by two and increase tension by two. I don't know, it's just a conservative amount. America, reduce, the United States says any threat to its territories or allies will be met with an overwhelming military response. Tension goes up by two. No, they're not going to do that because North Korea will probably bring out these. So America uses their last dipl diplomacy card to reduce tension. One, two, three. Discarding their condemnation of the actions of North Korea. North Korea says... I'm going to eke your resolve down bit by bit. Diplomacy, one and 
well. And the only tactics America has is playing these two cards, which number eight is going to increase tension by two. They do that. The United States. The United States says any threat to its territories or allies will be met with an overwhelming military response, having brought those boots on the ground. Tension goes up two. North Korea and resolve down by two. So now they stand at three and six. North Korea says, well, your we can both go down by one. I don't mind. So now we're at five and two. America is two points away from losing. America can only increase tension. It cannot, has no dis diplomacy cards left to reduce resolve. I think the best thing it can do is to whack it up. United States forces are deployed to the peninsula. One, two, three, four, five, increase in tension. North Korean resolve, one, two, three, four, down by four. So they're at one. American resolve is at two. Both sides are teetering on the brink. North Korea has one diplomacy card left. It can reduce the tension, or it could reduce its resolve to increase tension. It will lose if it reduces its resolve. It cannot increase tension then to bring these out, which it wanted. The best it could do is discard this to decrease tension, or this card, the New York Channel, the United States may choose to reduce tension by one. So it's looks like it's good either way um, for America. So they're, they're just going to play that. We don't want America to reduce the tension, their, their resolve, so we'll play it, discard it to one, two, three, reduce tension. Now, neither side has any cards left to play. Um, I'm not sure what that means because... Uh, Nobody got to zero tension, although we were close. And nobody can play these final cards out. Ah, there's the last thing left. So America could reduce the resolve to increase tension. So, for example, they could do that. Tension goes up one. We got two points of tension, three to get to get these cards out. And each side only has one resolve left. So um, I think it's just a draw that we just carry on to the future with everything unresolved. Tension, it's a stalemate essentially. Um, neither lost, but neither's got anywhere. And who knows how that is resolved. That's interesting. So I don't think that's supposed to happen. I presume someone's supposed to lose. Um, there's no description of this but then the rules are very short and sweet um, but you can see how that game plays you can see what you're trying to do so it's kind of like a war game in the sense of a cold war game in the sense of um, it's trying to simulate actual potential events um, but it's also just this kind of um, dynamic, um, this abstract dynamic, um, these three tracks against each other. There are slightly asymmetrical cards, asymmetrical tracks, and a shared track. Well, I think it's good. I think it might need a little bit more tweaking um, just to, to make it perfect, but I, I, I like it. And if I knew that you wouldn't get to this stalemate situation I'd be really happy to play it against a friend so I think I'm just going to send a message to the designer on Board Game Geek ask him about this stalemate and um, I'd look forward 
and again perhaps opposed bringing someone to their defeat. Thank you.